I'll be showing 12 new features in Word. This includes updates for desktop, web, and iOS. So let's get started. The first new feature is merge formatting by default when you paste in Word. This has been a top request for maybe decades. And I'm gonna pull up a funny tweet that shows just how much people wanted this capability. So here we are, dear Microsoft Word, I never, ever, 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 and a whole lot of evers ever want to paste without matching the formatting. Never, never, ever, thanks. So if you are a Microsoft 365 Insider, I'm gonna show you how this works the wrong way, which has been the way it's been forever, and then how it defaults to what we think is the right way. So I'm gonna select a bunch of text here, and it has a bunch of formatting on it. And I'm gonna do Control C to copy. Now I'm gonna go back to Word Desktop. Now I'm here in Word Desktop and I have this document. I'm gonna go and show you how it used to do the old default. So when I do Control V to paste, you can see it looks wacky. That is not the way that I wanted it. So I'm gonna show you what the new default is. In the file menu, you go down to options and then choose advanced. What they've changed is when you scroll down here, pasting from other programs. For decades, it's been keep the source formatting. So if you paste from a web page into Word, the formatting gets all wonky but the new default is merge formatting. So it's gonna merge that paste into the formatting of your document. So let's see what that looks like now. And this is the new default setting. Now I'm gonna paste with the merge formatting default on. I'll do paste and there everything now, the fonts are matched, the images looks the same, everything works the way it's supposed to be. This is now on by default, that merge formatting. This is for M365 insiders. It'll be rolling out globally very soon. The second new feature is in Word for the web and it's a dramatically improved file menu. So if I hit file here, you're gonna see this new menu. Things like create a copy, so instead of save as, now it just says create a copy. Create a copy online or download a copy. Things like export to PDF have their own menu now, so download as a PDF, download as PDF with comments, export to PowerPoint or transform to a web page. Things like version history right here and all sorts of information right here as well. So the file menu has been rolled out much easier to use. The other thing that has changed is the add-ins are now over here. So on the home menu, the add-ins button is right here. So all of your popular add-ins are now on that home toolbar. The third new feature is support for checkboxes in Word for the web. This has been another long time request. So I'm gonna make my little checklist here. So I have my list of four items. I'm just gonna select these four right here, and then I'm gonna go and click this little button, checklist, and check that out. It's a nice little checklist, and when I check them off, it puts a nice little line through it. The other nice thing is you can use a hotkey. So let's say in this case, I didn't have that little checkbox. If I do control comma, it adds a checkbox right there, and we're gonna check it off, get clearance from Bill Lumberg. The fourth new feature are improvements to formatting in Word for the web. We've added some features that Word Desktop has. So in this case, I wanna turn this right here into multiple columns. So I'm gonna select that text, go to Layout, and there's a new option for columns. If I drop this down, I can choose one or two, or I can go right here and choose three, or if I want more columns, I can go in here and I can do even more custom count, width and spacing, and a couple other options. We'll just undo that. The other option is line numbers right here. So if I drop this down, I can choose continuous, suppress for current paragraph, or I've got a bunch of line numbering options right here. I can add line numbering, start at line one, restart at each page. You can do all kinds of things. So we've added these capabilities in Word for the web as well. The fifth new feature is improved navigation options in Word for the web. I have a really long Contoso sales proposal right here, and I wanna be able to navigate it a little bit more easily. Right here is the little navigation pane widget. If I click this, I have the entire navigation pane. So if I wanna go down here and jump down to what you get with Contoso, or right here, you can have all the navigation that you need. You also have searchability. So if I wanna search for Contoso, there's lots of different options in here where it finds Contoso. I can do a find and replace and this is just back to the headings navigation. So I hit back right there, the little navigation option widget pops closed. The sixth new feature is the ability to filter comments in Word for the web. So I have my next generation TPS report document here, and in the upper right, I will click the comments button right here, and this is gonna open up the comments pane. You'll see this new little filtering widget. So I can drop this down, and right now it has active only. I might wanna to switch to resolved only. So now it has the comments that were resolved. 
I can switch back to active only. I can also go and say, where does it just mention me? Or I can reset everything and then you can see the resolve comment appears at the bottom. The seventh new feature is a copy to document link under the file share menu. If I go to this new file menu, there's a share option and there's a new copy link to this document. So if I choose this, it pulls up this link copied and now I can just paste this into an email or into a Teams message or anywhere else and I can give that to them. The eighth new feature is support for the editor pane in Word for iOS and this is for E3, E5 or A3, A5 customers. So on the home tab, there's the little editor button. I'll tap this and it's going to pop up the editor pane. I can scroll down, I can do text prediction, I can do document stats, I can do all the other things that you normally do in editor. The ninth new feature is table of contents in Word for iOS. So I'm gonna go over to the references tab there and I'm gonna put my cursor down in this Contoso sales proposal document and it lights up table of contents. So if I tap this, I have all these choices. I will choose custom table of contents and very quickly, it's gonna generate a beautiful table of contents for my iOS Word document, just like you get in desktop or the web. The 10th new feature is support for liking comments in Word for iOS. So I'm gonna go, I'll tap a comment and right there you can see the little thumbs up like and I can click the thumbs up to like that comment from Ashley. Bill Lumberg is my hero. I'll like another couple of comments. So this is now just like in desktop or Word for the web or the Mac. The 11th new feature is support for deleting all resolved comments in Word for iOS. So if I go to the review tab right here, I'll tap on it and I'm gonna go and tap that little drop down next to the delete comments and there's a delete all resolved and I'll tap that and you'll watch on the right hand side that little comment disappeared. The 12th new feature is exporting to PDF minus the comments in Word for iOS. So right here, I'm gonna go and tap the little TPS report in the upper left to drop that little thing down. Scroll down and tap on export and choose PDF. Now I'm gonna choose where I want this to go in my file folders. I will tap on documents, tap on PDFs, and then tap export in the upper right. Now it's gonna quickly export. I'll switch over to desktop and show what that looks like without comments. I've switched over to OneDrive for this account and you can see there is that TPS report PDF that I just exported from iOS. I'm gonna click this to open and here's that TPS report and there are not any comments. The comments were stripped out during the export. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.